Hello and welcome back to another beer review. Yes, we're back again with another beer review. Bit of a habit this this beer review's developed into, isn't it? Yes. Um, we're off to Lidl. Um, the good lady wife picked up a German uh, vice beer from uh, Lidl. And I've never had this one before. In fact, I've never had a beer from uh, the brewer either before. So... It's all new to me, this. <laughs> all new to me. We have uh, a Vice Beer Patronus from Pearl and Backer. Super smashing great. It's coming in at 5.5% ABV. There you go. I shall read the back for you. Um, I think this was peanuts. I think it's only about 99p, something stupid. Um, it says, well, it doesn't say anything. It just says wheat beer, allergy advice, contains barley, gluten, and wheat. Uh, best before, see front label, store in a cool, dry place, produced in Germany, brewed according to the German purity law. Now, I want this review to kind of like last, you know, not be too long. If I start going on about the purity law, the German purity law, I'll be here forever. If, if you want to know about the purity law, look at my Erdinger Dunkel review, which I did try to explain it, and that's one of my very first reviews. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Um, it says it's got Munich malt. Could, could, could be German for Munich malt on the front. Um, best before, 15th of February 2019. So, cracker open, like you do. A little bit of smoke running off. There is P for Patronus. See what we get. Typical wheat beer fodder. Nice hint of clove, bit of vanilla, not much else. Quite subtle um, in aroma, but I like my wheat beers. I must admit, big fan of wheat beers. They go down so well. So pour out quite a bit of carbonation. Um, loads of carbonation, tons of it. Bang, 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 all the way up to the top of the glass. It's like a, dare I say, muddy brown colour. Um, so there you go. Give her a little swell, so we get some more sediment in there. There, beautiful stuff. So, The head's sinking down, see what we get. Not much else. A little bit of vanilla, bit of clove, maybe a, a tiny hint of coriander, not much. There's a little bit of metallicness there about it. Smells rather reasonable. I'm gonna go in, cheers. What can you say? It's a rather pleasant wheat beer for the money. You can't go wrong. You really can't. Um, again, again. Front end, you get hit with the carbonation. It's buzzing around the mouth. Beyond that, you get a slight hint of coriander. Nice little vanilla note. Little biscuity note there. Dare I say, custard cream note, and it's really, really pleasant. It is um, what you want. It's just a straight, no bullshit wheat beer. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Would I buy it again? You bet. You, you bet. Oh, it's only about nine p a bottle. You can't go wrong again. Again. It's just pleasant. But the carbonation is pretty much full on. Um, but all in all, boys and girls, it's a cracker. It really is. It's not the greatest wheat beer, um, but it certainly is a very good wheat beer. And, um, yeah, sometimes um, people used to say, well, you pay for what you get. Not necessarily. You pay peanuts for this and you, you get a good one. It is, it's, it's a good example of a great German wheat beer. If you've never had a wheat beer before, 
this is a great place to start, I have to say. So, boys and girls, Pearl and Backer, Patronus, buy Spear, pick one up, enjoy it. Tell me what you think in the comments. I'm always reading comments. Some are good, some are bad, but some are bloody unbelievable. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you on my next one.